What is up everyone? This is Tim from Bend Community College. Today we're going to look at how some salary cap tips that will hopefully help you get better at this game. Now, uh, so we have some simple methods and stuff. Uh, we're going to look at... So the first thing you want to do when you're in your salary cap uh, mindset is always be, uh, keep track of what the updates are in salary cap, whether it be rewards or rules and all that. Because there was a, a, a rule change a while ago about cap minimums. Uh, people were just tanking their offensive line in certain positions and just having studs at others. And yeah, EA decided to change that. So Fullback and punter are now a 10 cap minimum. Kickers are 12 cap minimums. And then 15 cap minimum for every other position. Now this doesn't change the game that much since the overall cap is now 1075 but it's still something you have to keep an eye on. They also changed uh, the ability costs. So ability costs used to be a, a 4, but now they range from how uh, good they are. So that's another thing you want to keep an eye on. Alright, so building teams. Uh, I call this the general method. Uh, know the cap minimums of every position. Uh, the link of this doc will be in the description below, so if you don't like the way I speak, just grab it and you can read it at your own pace now what you can do now know what you can live without so you can live without a good fullback so you're gonna you still have to tank some positions that's usually always the method in salary cap is to tank positions that you don't need and then you know do everything else now for your defense look at your the defensive formation you'll spend the most time in you're gonna do the same with your offense but defense is more important so you need to know what you're going to spend a lot of your time in. So I'm, for example, I'm saying 2, 4, 5, nickel. So it means you're going to have uh, a right end, a left end, a roll, a lobe, a CB1, a CB2, a free safety one, and a strong safety one, and the, a nickel, which could be a, a CB3 or a free safety one, or strong safety one, depending on how you do it, which would also make your free safety 2 or strong safety 2 also be on the field. But it's just how you do things. Now that we know the main players, uh, you're going to look at the key players you need. So, it, I believe, uh, so like the type of nickel 244 you're going to run, uh, if you're going to run a blitzing style, you're going to want to value blitzing style uh, robes. In, or actually, if you're blitzing more, you actually don't need to look at blitzing style ro or pass rush robes. You are old. <laughs> I like how I'm saying that. I'm just saying it real fast, but you know what I'm outside linebackers. Now, he, uh, I since you're going to be blitzing to bring pressure, you're going to want more block shed run stuff type of players uh, at those spots. So, because that way you have some better run stuff, but you're still getting your pressure in because you're doing blitzes to get a guy free. That's the whole point of blitzing. So yeah, uh, but whatever you do, uh, it could change who you have. So you always have to make those decisions. So now that uh, you kept that in mindset, you want to don't spend all your cap on uh, one side of the ball. Uh, you know the expression, don't shoot your load too early. You want to make sure you balance everything out first. That way you can go back later and make more upgrades and downgrades where necessary. So I put some examples of uh, one of these salary cap teams I put together. Now you can't really see it. I should have put just a mutt head link. But uh defensively i tried to keep the entire defense uh gold pretty much yeah the entire defense except for d tackle which uh is unnecessary for a nickel two four five so i kept that whole defense uh gold players because i don't need top tier players on defense uh but i do need solid defensive players now the jimmy ward uh obviously not everyone has it but i love that card and i just couldn't get rid of him so and offensively you're going to tank most positions that you can. So fullback, you're going to get the 10 cap minimum. And then you you need about three offensive linemen. So I recommend getting a good left tackle, uh, probably a good center, and probably a good uh, right tackle. Because you could go with guards in the center and just run up the interior, but like it's just depending on how you want it because you don't want your full line to be horrible you want just uh, two of them to be pretty bad that way you can have better positions everywhere else 
uh, that's just my way uh, you can do it however you want the only two people I think you need to have is the wheel shields and the uh, gold and munos just for chems because uh, identifier and secure pass blocker are really cool but uh, yeah and then finally uh, at special teams look notice how I put uh, my kicker at punter and my punter at kicker the reason I did that is to uh, t and to not have that uh, that ability cam on my kicker affect the cap because that's a I think a five cam or five cap hit or something like that and we don't want that so uh, what this means is now I have uh, other positions with like 65 cap to work with so then you just upgrade and downgrade where necessary so yeah I have 65 cap I can upgrade some line or I could get more elite defense Stuff like that. Now, um, on offense, also noticed how I uh, I only got pretty much two players I feel like I kind of need. I got LaShawn McCoy because I feel like he could be uh, go play wide receiver if I need a four wide. I got a uh, Brandon Cooks because I need a speedster. And then I got a uh, two tight ends because I run Patriots and I need two tight ends. But yeah, that's basically what I focused on. The rest of it I just kind of filled in with what I got. Now, the tank method, uh, pretty much what we've been going over this whole time, tank every position that you don't need, and then just funnel all the rest of those cap, uh, the cap spots that you have into better players. You could theoretically cap your whole defense, or you can tank your whole line, your whole D-line and everything, and have a completely solid everything else. I don't recommend that, but you could. Now... Uh, the other method I like to approach when uh, starting to build a team is the balance method. So it's basically just math. So you got 34 players you have to have. Now I know it says you have uh, more p required positions, but some players play more positions because a lot of those positions that you need are special teams. So it's just 34 required players. Two are flex players. So you want to cap, uh, you want to tank those as low as possible which would be about 15 each, which is a 30 cap hit. Then you have fullback, punter, strong safety 2, CB4, our right end 2, and left tackle 2, all of which do not need to be very good players. So you tank them all as low as you can. So fullback and punter are 10 each, which is a 20 cap hit. And then the rest of them would be a 60 cap hit. So that results in an 80 cap hit. So now you put that together, you have 110 cap hit minus the 1075. You have 965 total cap remaining. Then you're going to divide that by the 26 total positions you have left, giving you an average cap spend on each position of 37 or lower at per position. So what makes, what makes that such a good method is let's look at the team builder I made using this method. Uh, what makes it so good is you have everything balanced out and no one's a real um, uh, no one's a real uh, liability so look how everyone has 37 or less cap and now some players have more still like this run block cam and uh, some of these other cams are going to add towards the uh, total cap but that's why I, I, I tanked uh, other positions still like uh, D tackle I think I still tanked them yeah so I still tank, tanked D-Tackle to uh, get some other uh, studs, like the halfback and the uh, right tackle. But other than that, almost everything is at 37 or lower K, or 37 cap or lower. So you notice how bad, or how, how solid this team actually kind of looks? And that's just because we use this method. Now some of these players, like the corners, I feel like these are just some of the best salary cap corners. So I, I pretty much put them in every lineup. But yeah. That's basically the uh, balance method. It's really useful. And then uh, for those, if you notice that there's five required positions, uh, the reason I left those out is because um, it's all these ones: long snapper, uh, third down run back, kickoff, pass rush, kick or punt return, kick return, that stuff. So it's a really good method. Uh, I really recommend it. I'm probably gonna play some uh, salary cap games with this team. I was considering using Tom Brady, but he's a little bit more than 37. Now, uh, salary cap gems. So, just because you're tanking some positions doesn't mean that there aren't good players to be at that position. So, salary cap gems are like are 
15, or usually about 15 to maybe 17 cap, and they're really good players. So you have, um, uh, who's an example? We have some examples down here, like this Eric Murray guy. Uh, he's just a, a overall solid player. Let's look at him. So he's 15 cap. He's 5'11", which isn't that great. 87 speed, which is a pretty good. Uh, 70s in both zone and man, so he's not a terrible. And then great tackle and great uh, pursuit and power, hit power and all that stuff for a corner. So this guy could be a blitzer if you needed a cheap blitzer. That's that's just the kind of salary cap gem you're looking for. So that's something you always want to keep an eye on. Now, uh, another thing about salary, finding a salary cap gem is look out for their traits. Sometimes a trait is more valuable than the stat. Uh, I I always attribute an example for this to be uh, Ozzie Newsom, the tight end, because he has a sideline catch and no trait. Now, he plays completely be uh, amazing everywhere all over the field because he has perfect traits, but that one trait he doesn't have, I swear he cannot make sideline catches. Maybe he does for you guys, but in my experience, he never does. Uh, I left a link to uh, a Traits Explained video, or actually document, and you can go ahead and look at that. Uh, so other player salary cap gems you want to look at, the out of position program. Every year there's usually a middle linebacker tight end, which is a really good salary cap player. Now this year they kind of made it a little impossible to use one, but you still have middle linebacker Gronk. So with a 98 cap hit, I know that's a lot. But he would be a tight end and a, a middle linebacker for you. And not a bad one at all. Uh, the the Tavon Austin, uh, he would be a very good uh, halfback and a very solid uh, slot wide receiver. For 54 cap, that's two positions. And the same goes for wide receiver Tyreek and halfback Ty Mont, uh, Montgomery. Just didn't want to spell his whole name. Uh, because they're all good halfbacks with a really solid receiving, except for this Ty Mont. He's just a really good receiving halfback who can also play wide receiver. So that's just another thing you want to look out for. And then I have some examples of some gems. I haven't added them all because I asked people to send them to me because I don't really play that much salary cap anymore. So I was asking to send them and, you know, not many people sent them. So strategy. Uh, strategy is something you want to focus a lot more than uh, your players because with a good scheme uh, you don't need such great players it's just a, a very good thing to have so I put out a whole bunch of ebooks if you know me so I left the link there uh, how to build your scheme I left a link there and that's just something you want to keep an eye on it, it's really helpful to have a good scheme to go along with the good players so substitutions, uh, this is a great way to um, utilize what you have. So if you're in a 3-4 play, and say you just need uh, extra help at line, go sub in your right in a D-tackle or something. Try, try and like move players around and make it better uh, use for you. If you run three safeties, go put one at corner where you have a bad corner. Stuff like that. It's just It's something that you could really uh, help your game. So uh, that's been Tim from Madden Community College. I hope you enjoyed this video on Salary Cap. If you have any other tips to uh, send me, please write them in the comments below and I'll add them to this thing. I mean, I'm always looking to add more strategies and helpful, helpful tips to this guide. I want everyone to get better at this game because it just makes the competitive side of it a lot funner. So have a good day, everyone.